good to defend. Well, I think they're they're good defensively, you know. And whenever, I mean, they didn't shoot well either, because we were good defensively. I thought both teams were very good defensively. It was tough to get shots, and the way the game evolved lent itself to physicality in the lane, on drives, and stuff like that. And uh, uh, and. We're, we're not going to be as good without our veterans. Like, uh, you know, Meal, you know, he's, he, he's not running. His injury, I mean, I didn't play him like most of the second half because he, he wasn't running. You know, you keep Grayson out because of his injury. And, you know, you need those guys to calm people down on the offensive end. And, uh, you know, in the second half, four of the six guys playing are freshmen. And the two big guys just haven't had the experience because of injuries and that. So they're getting, they're cutting their teeth, so to speak, in a, uh, the 16th ACC game in late February. So, uh, uh, you know, I think that wins it. So the continuity on the offensive end is not up to par with the defense. And, uh, but they, they defended well, so uh, we didn't get the, the shots that we would normally get. Well, I always, I, mean, I think Bruce Brown's had a great year and was terrific today. Uh, you know, he, yet overall, when you're defending them, somebody will probably score. <laughs> he scored. Half their points almost, but someone was going to score some points, and he he had a great game and he scored most of them. Uh, but he's a, he's an outstanding player. Uh, but our, our, again, our defense was not bad. He made tough plays uh, to score, and then a couple times on turnovers, we gave them uh, we gave them layups. Well, I've, I've been thinking about it. He and Emil. For a week, you know, because they're they just they've been playing hurt, you know. Bottom line, and you know, at Syracuse, I mean, he he had no push, none, and, and uh, so you could tell it on defense, on, on his shooting, and uh, you know, we got to get well. You know, we're I mean, every all these games are important, but. We got to get them well. You know, the, the most important games are going to be played in a couple weeks, and you know we're going to be there. We're, wherever we are there, we're going to be there. We're going to be one of the teams that starts zero and zero. You know that's a goal: is to three times during the year to be zero and zero. The start, you know, start of conference season, and only 68 teams are zero and zero. Uh, out of 351, and we're going to be one of them. Miami will be one of them, and be quite a few of them from this conference. And I, th I think this game is pretty much indicative of all the games in our conference. They're just a couple plays, uh, a bigger performance like by Brown, you know, something, something that separates you. So, you know, just a little bit. You don't need much. Separation because all the teams are so damn com you know competitive. I don't know. We'll I don't know. We'll we'll make you know. You know we'll let you know right before Tuesday's game. But I, I won't know until then. Same thing. I'm gonna make a decision on a meal too. Because he's not running. You know he he is not. He's not running at all, and. Uh, um, you know, you're different. You're not. You know, you're a different team. <laughs> you're just a different team. Those two guys are really good players. No, you're not. Uh, I don't. I don't think any. You know, because in zone, you actually have more time to look at the basket and. And, you know, it's a good zone. 
it's not just playing against. It's like when you're you know, Syracuse, and this, especially in the second half, was good, really good def defensively. Miami's a real look. Jim's teams are always good defensively, no matter what they play, man or or zone. But they have good length in the zone, so you have to. Uh, I didn't think we were ready to shoot. We were ready to catch, and because of their, they have great lateral quickness and length. So when you do something and you do hit somebody, you got to be ready to shoot then. If you catch and then be ready to shoot, the shot's not there. And I, I think we did that a good number of times. Now whether we hit the shot or not, in some respects, you take away you take away your own shot. And it's a subtle thing: be ready to shoot or be ready to catch. And. Uh, we, we're more ready to catch today. And a zone can do that, can make you just a little bit slower, you know. And so you have to have to fight that. Yeah, well, he's had a terrific year. You know, again, he had uh, – he's had a terrific year. And he plays with such passion and – how hard he plays, and and uh, you know he gave us a big boost today. But yeah, I look at Frank as another starter. You know, like uh, and when you have a as you're developing a team, you should not only develop five guys. If you can develop about eight who feel that they're starters, then you're you're really good. You're really good, and uh, or more than five. And we want Frank. Frank has been a starter at times, but he, in my mind, whenever I put him in, it's like putting another starter in. That's a good question. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll have to make those decisions, Jessica. I mean, it's a good question. I, uh, so much is how they respond to therapy. And so that's, I'm not avoiding or evading or whatever word, you know, uh, I, I, j I just don't know. But uh, um, I'll look at the big picture and what, and what we're doing. And while we're doing that, that doesn't mean we can't win. Like we were in a, you know, no matter what, we were in a position to win today. You know, whatever has happened, and our, uh, our guys fought really hard and we're in a position to win. And and, but we didn't. And so I'm not going to make decisions based on my prediction of what we'll do. But I'll base it on just how they're, how they're moving along. Okay? All right. Thanks.